Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Phoenix Run Blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time for us to defend yet another haven. Uh, Dilbert is under attack and we got a nice little 15 attacking strength enemy with a solid reward waiting for us. Team 3, the Gamma team, is on their way. So, let's take a look what we can or cannot do. Uh, still waiting for level ups here. Steven, I like him as a character class. Uh, the heavy weapons really work well for him. Now that I finally also got uh, my hand on a few more purification grenades because I built them, we will make it even more worth his while. So, here with Asian Cow, I'm a bit off uh, on an impasse. I want to, of course, capture enemies. And we do not yet have a lot of capability doing that. Kyle takes the pistol. Because why not? Asian cow we don't have another pistol left over and we don't have enough neuronizers yet so that's why I'm producing more incivency waits to get inspire next so that's okay just double checking the points no nope, everybody here is fine um yeah, we wanted Onslaught, so this mission will potentially give uh, Silent Toes uh, the Onslaught ability. And he has ready for action, which is good, so that means I can put this in his inventory, can throw them and be useful. Do we want to have quick aim? That might be helpful, but weak spot is helpful as well. I haven't tried vanish yet, so all of these sound delicious. I think we're going for weak spot because I like the ability a lot. Craig here. Yeah, we're missing the neuronizing uh, neuralizer pistols. Uh, with them, we could definitely capture a few more enemies. And here we, I think, are finally ready for priest training. There you go. The only thing that we don't have is the ability to mutate yet. We don't have the mutagens. Need to capture more aliens for that, but Vanessa, rest assured, you will get the next... Oh, no, 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 oh, I made a mistake. That was the group where we did not want another priest because I already had one, uh, had two. Well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, now we do have uh, this head. And we're just going to take the third head, the one that uh, allows to create, uh, to instill panic. Priests are good character classes. It's not. It's really not the end of the world. Um, it's equally okay. Just getting that uh, head mutated. Cool. No problem. Good. Sounds like we are ready to deploy the squad. Okay. We landed. So what are we dealing with? That looks like in a new facility. Lots of space here as well. We already see a couple of enemies. Well, I'll tell you what, we're instilling friends here. Uh, we got some options here. To maybe capture this guy.
What else do we have? We can't shift a lot of abilities, unfortunately. Good. Kenai begins to move are. over. We're spotting a few enemies. One. One on the other side, and another one. Okay. Eyes peeled. Oh, no up a shot. One, two. Yeah. Ready to engage. Nope. Let's try that again. Let's just get this over with. Okay. He's paralyzed. There is an enemy from the other side. So. It appears to me that we need spiders. Reloading and we're positioning ourselves carefully. Okay, even more. Ready. Can't throw a turret yet with Vanessa. So I'm wondering, I mean, where's the best spot to place one? We could move all the way up here and then place one up here to just fire freely. I think quick. that's not a bad idea. I'm on the move. Ready, willing, and Good. Vanessa will move over here, place it. That should be fine. We got poison spitting on this berserker and I can see that there is another berserker down there. So what we're going to do with the berserkers is try to find where all of the enemies are. Okay, well that changes the story a little bit. Rolling. Reporting enemy contact. On my way. We've got incoming. I want to get everyone under my control. Easy enough. Spurzaka moves up. Unfortunately, he has the worst pistol in the entire game. I really hate that pistol. Like, it's potentially the worst weapon in the entire game. Ready. If I was to <laughs> select one, it would be that pistol. Two action points, inaccurate, as inaccurate can be. Good, we're overwatching. Tell you what, if we were to move... Hmm. Don't want to cluster up too much because of uh, the grenades that he can shoot.
All right, overwatching. So, um, tell you what, we're still overwatching over here. Unfortunately, can't get that siren really. Not a problem. That's not bad. That's actually not real. That's not bad at all. Did we destroy the pincer? Oh, nice. Okay. Starting with a big fed rocket. That is good. Now we can we could move anywhere we want. And I suppose up here isn't bad. That gives us a lot of agency next turn, plus will points are immediately refreshed thanks to these kind of will point zones. And I think that's the end of uh, the initial turn. Well, look at you. Complete and utter surprise that once again we're being mind controlled. I don't yet fully understand the nanotech. Might need to read up on that. Still standing, buddy. Oh yeah, and you're going to regret that. Okay, but we have more enemies there than expected. Interesting. But funnily enough, all of the enemies is nothing that we can't handle. Let's start here. So first things first, we're healing ourselves. Secondly, we're using yeah. that and our melee attack to pay back what has just happened. Moving up. He's dead. Ready to rock. He's dead, right? 70. Yeah, easy. Okay. Which means this guy with 70 is also dead. Cool. Uh, that leaves us with one opponent. Rolling. And we're starting to move up. Those two berserkers are definitely pulling the weight yes. over here. Cool. Good. Very good. Moves over here. Deploys turret to here. here I am. Moves back. Let's do this. And from next turn Hold onwards up. we can control the turret. It still has summoning sickness, so to speak. Well, look at you, that was 
That hurt quite a bit, right? Didn't it? Unfortunate. Let's try that again. That is so unfortunate. You just lost your mind control. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Of course I'm not. She very much deserved that. Steven moves over. Not the damage that I would have expected. Easy enough. Would have wanted to see a bit more DPS there, but okay. That's a really solid cover. Gotta give her that. Already there. Nope. She just has too much cover. All right, spider drone pack. Triplet over there. We're reloading and we're overwatching in this direction. So, aiming. Target here. That's the wrong gun. That is the wrong gun. Let's try that again. That's it. I'm dead out here. Hmm. Good, we're overwatching. Oh, I almost forgot. We had someone in the area. Why would I waste all of those shots? Never mind. Okay. Some of the things worked well in the second turn. All of the things, unfortunately, did not work that well. Action points left over enough to kill two spiders. He hits his own body.
But the name of the game on this side of the map is Persevere. So let's use med kits. Moving up here. Okay. And we're moving over Bring here. Big fat hit. Let's go. In the meantime, we're saying hello over here. Just getting rid of a lot of their equipment. Let's just get this over with. Unfortunately, they have like a little leech begin to bunker down there <clears throat> very difficult to get rid of them now let me see here i come asian cow finishes this guy hostile oh. eliminated permanently need a lot of damage because on the move when this guy resurrects I want to make sure that he dies Anthony moves up tell you what you two lovebirds can Sit in this chamber for a while. On the move. In the meantime, we'll be moving over here. Playing it safe. Watch. We're moving over to that side. And just for completeness sake, we're overwatching as well. Let's move a tiny bit further back. That means less auto attacks if the guy comes up. Same goes for um, Incy Vinci. Yeah, Incy Vinci. Good. And we need to help the other front. <clears throat> Very good. So we're completely empty Four of our spiders. Down. There we go. Yeah. 
Interesting. Good, moving up. And that's a hundred hit points worth of damage, which he will not survive. Trying to aim. So, full cover back here. Just need the right angle. Unfortunately, a couple of misses. Yeah, not enough to destroy. Good. There is another sniper, and I want to make sure we're grabbing every single one of these guys. Enemy spotted. Still nothing with the turret. This is so ridiculous. It's funny how you sometimes think that a positioning is really strong and then in reality it turns out Next. it is absolute garbage. Just to make a point, I wanted to kill the guy. Rolling out. We will be able to shoot that other guy next turn. Operative on the move. I'm repositioning. All right, let's make sure that we're standing in everyone's range. Okay. Seems legit. Let's have a look. I'll be there. Moving up to help the other flank, like over here. Slowly but surely making our way over there, and that's end of turn. Yeah, you need to come out, my dude. Well, 
That is an unfortunate loss. I do have another idea. Vanessa moves up. Oh yeah, that was to be expected. Look, somewhere back here, I knew it. There is a sniper. And there is no way up here, which is fantastic because that means I can just get out of the way and chill. Let's just get this over with. Moving. Can we please agree to paralyze this guy? One, two. Apparently we cannot yet agree on that. Okay, someone is panicked. I don't know where exactly, but someone is. Moving up, Overwatch. Moving up, Overwatch. I'll move up here just to have a good handle on any respawns that would be coming in. The target for our sniper is to get all the way to the rooftop and then take it from there. And we're all watching again. Good, end of turn. points of damage right there. Okay. 
Okay, the first time that we see something really doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, down. Move up. You like that? I think he moved to the front. Uh, unfortunately, can't see him. Oh, we don't have enough will points. Huh, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side, Let's just get this over with. Enemy still active. It's a matter on uh, of uh, how well we can put this guy to sleep. Apparently now he's completely sleeping, so that's good. We're using the momentum to move over and kill that other last uh, re last remaining enemy. Playing it safe. up this better work well surprise surprise ain't it It. We captured two and completed the mission. Very nice. Definitely need more uh, capturing technology on that team as well. Cool. So we found ourselves two Arthrons. We got a location of uh, their colony. Which is right over there, and it's a big one. Big, juicy, nasty colony right there. So, let me double check something because number one, Kyle got a level up. And I think we're going for Adrenaline Rush. Mark for Death isn't bad either, but that ability is really good. And I promise to mutate. I hope I haven't over promised. No, I have not. We just got 200, which is enough for her head to be mutated. We already got the Radiant Hope. I'm not sure if these stack with one another. We got Instill Frenzy, we could get another Instill Frenzy, or we're getting the Psychic Scream. Hmm.
I don't know if these stick with one another. The other alternative is a second uh, is a second frenzy, essentially making everyone quicker. Friendly living enemies start each turn and gives four willpower. I like the screaming head as well. It worked quite well to keep enemies um, in check. Problem is Vanessa is never really, really at the front line, so uh, she would need to move up a bit more. And with the legs, that won't really work as well. I think. I'll just try the Synod hat and even if it does not duplicate We can at least spread out a bit better. So it's not wasted at all. I actually think the uh, Regeneration here works reasonably well Yeah, I mean it's not com a complete game changer, but uh, given that you're elsewise not regenerating it actually helps quite a bit I hate it when that happens. Okay, need to slow that down again. Look, we're halfway already there. Stupid. So, Manticore 4 personal. Some of them still need experience, but other than that, we're fine. Fortunately, there are no... Nothing that we can do here. You know, I... You guys stay in Mist Haven, get the experience. Heal is still on the way. We're trading. Starting the excavation side and continuing to trade. there was like slight just a slight bit uh, quicker okay so we can deploy immediately it's interesting Five, yeah, it's not really something no. that I want to do. Tiamat seven, just from the personal sitting on it, mostly leveled up. Manticore 3, that's our C team. Let them regain whilst we are trying to trade a little bit more. Just speed it up a bit, a bit faster, but not too much. All right, goo repellent. Goo does not trap or restrict the movement. That is really good. How much does that cost? I would say we're putting two of these in here and four of these.
and another blast vest, which I think is also a good module. Two for twelve, exactly what I was looking for, and we're flying back to the Antediluvian ruins. This has been fully traded. Good, we're flying here and, and we're just waiting. These guys are on patrol. There's one more mission down here. Um, at the Antarctica level. So, uh, so Medicore 1, let's refresh our memory. That's the other aircraft of uh, the C team. Phoenix Point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 currently has the other 6 here. So we're just going to wait with them. I don't need additional food, we're very much okay on food. Two for ten is okay. Yeah, we don't need food. But we're not starting the mission yet, but soon. And I decided these guys actually will fly back because I need to pick up uh, the the soldiers in case of an emergency. Good. Next up, antediluvian uh, runes protein field. I think this was protein gas. Yep. So protein field is the next one. Going to go with that. Uh, then we're flying down here for the living crystals. And then there is one last field over here, which is yet another living crystal field. That's what team number three is going to do. And then I think we ran out of missions for now. And what I will do though is now we're doing those two missions and then we're staying with team one around North America because born in the USA is a facility. Uh, has excellent training facilities. It's just going to help them to get so much more experience right away. I wonder, by the way, if we activate a base. Hmm. Let's first do all of the missions and once we're done we, we could uh, activate uh, bases. We have more abilities to capture aliens now and I think we're bit by bit now finally getting all of the equipment that I should have potentially built way, 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 way uh, um, long ago. I don't think we need more aircrafts at this point unless we go for a sixth team but I don't see the need for that it seems to me that we've covered most of the world relatively well once we're done down here I don't I don't foresee us coming back to the South Pole uh, although I mean we would need to station someone here that is fast enough. In terms of bases, Antarctica. How much is a training facility? Uh, relatively speaking, expensive. We could do it and 
have a couple of like emergency people down here but that also would require another air craft facility hmm yeah that's a good question how do we protect this because a Tiamat here in South America won't be fast enough to get there from here to down here never ever in that amount of time question from Antarctica is can we reach something else like say from Antarctica just out of curiosity if I, if I was to fly over here, nope. I'm not sure if that would change uh, when we do have a, if we would have that facility down here, if that would kind of change change uh, the terms because then having having someone stationed down here to actually get uh, to Australia wouldn't be too bad but yeah the only real connection is to South America South America in a in a way is also quite remote Can't even fly over the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm. But that might be a problem of Phoenix Delta not being in place, and it might also be a problem of Phoenix Bravo not being in place. So to be fair, the Southern hem Hemisphere is not particularly our strong suit at this point. So for the time being, the team is still here, but that can't be a permanent solution or shouldn't be a permanent solution. So. It appears to me that we yet again need to build bases. And given the situation, maybe we're actually going with Phoenix Omega or with Phoenix Bravo. I mean, Phoenix Bravo would give us that entirety as an influence. And it's currently infested infested already so we would need to free it um, not sure it's not that we do have so much resources yet let me just continue as is for now no need to rock the boat uh, we do have theoretically in terms of recruits two available and we can always relatively quickly build another another aircraft maybe another tier map that sits uh, uh, down here and just we're just letting eight people um, sit down here or or alternatively we're putting a vehicle down in the base so that that is uh, sort semi safe the espida um, those weren't too bad They seem sort of capable and in terms of speed, yeah, 250 it stinks. That is not good. Having a manticore down there might be the right solution. Just one manticore essentially like flying uh, through here would almost pay for itself with the four uh, bases down here. It's not a lot, but say if we would we were to scan a bit more and we would find more items it might change the uh, the the outlook a bit i wonder if uh, with those southern bases we would connect the south pole and actually make it possible to fly via the south pole on the other side and that would really help us because then all of a sudden from uh, africa you could uh, fly via antarctica and kind of go to south america um, or over here and then fly that bit which should be doable to be uh, to be honest uh, planes are regularly flying that 
Cool. End of uh, episode, guys. Next time we are going to continue with Antediluvian runes and uh, the Prime team, which I look very much forward to. It's my favorite team uh, so far. And then we're going to do another Antediluvian runes, hopefully soon. And then the Prime team should very much be leveled up. I'll think about the other bases in the meantime and how to like get full coverage of the globe. Thanks for watching, see you soon. And if you want full coverage of this channel, click that like button for a good fat uh, reception of it. Take care and have a good one.